G'day guys or welcome to another layout. This one, I just wanted to have fun. I have been at, at this point when I made this video, I had been out of my craft room for way too long and I needed to just get some painty goodness happening and it was driving me crazy that I hadn't done any. So this is what I started doing. Now, I put down a strip of washi tape all the way around. I started off with my painter's tape and ran out for the thickness that I wanted. So I just went around with some washi tape. Now, for those that have not used washi tape, don't know what it is, it is not meant to be a permanent adhesive. You can use it as a temporary um, adhesive, you know, to be able to leave a border like I've done here. Is it perfect? No. Mint tape works excellent. I believe the Gina K, um, she's got a product as well that when you put it down, it lifts up, never tears. It's amazing. You can reuse it a thousand times over. It's brilliant. But I didn't have any of that. So I just went with the washi tape because I don't intend on leaving it there. I'm put it, I've put it down to create a border in a different way to the way I usually do. So there you go. Now I am going to town. I'm using, I think it's a black and white photo I use on this page and I am just painting hearts. It's just super duper simple. I'm using my cheap Montmartre paint set. It's a paint palette. It, you can see it all there. You've kind of got your earthy tones, your jewel tones, and then your bright tones. And this is not a professional makeup, not professional makeup, a professional paint palette by any stretch, but it totally works for me. It's in my price point and it gives me good color payoff every time I use it. So um, yeah, I like it. I'll try and link it in the description below for you. I did manage to link it the other day, so I believe it's still available. So, yeah. Now, what can I tell you about what is coming up? Uh, this video is going up after the fact. This one's going up on April Fool's Day. Happy April Fool's Day. Did you get fooled? Did anybody fool you? My, my Jennifer loves to fool people, so it'll be interesting if she... Gives it a red hot crack again this year. I'm not sure if she'll try, but see what happens. I am going to have, this is not an April Fool, this is legit. We are going to have a giveaway in April. I am having a giveaway for my channel for reaching 2,000 subscribers. I will post a full post over on my Facebook group. That link you will find in the description. You need to swing over there to get all the T's and C's. And I I love to give back to you guys. I haven't done anything like this because a lot of you have said, you know, don't give things away. Don't, you know, all that sort of bizzo. But as I've said to you guys, by allowing me to partially monetize, partially monetize my channel, it, ha it allows me to bring a tiny bit of money in and... Every so often, for example, reaching 2,000 subscribers, that is, you have no idea how much that just makes my heart just swell. I am, in a good way, I'm just absolutely wrapped, wrapped. It's crazy, but I wish I could still do six videos a week because, you know, that that's my thing that I absolutely love doing the most, but that's okay. Now you can see I'm doing some of the hearts sort of half off that over the washi tape. So you can see some of the heart on each side. So see I'm leaving a gap between them. So I'm just going to town. This, I have sped this right up because I know that your time is valuable. And this is where I want to show you. And that's what I wanted to do on this layout other than play. I want to show you, see how... At the moment, it's looking like, well, a preschooler could have done this, okay? So it's super duper simple. I'm using a rainbow of colors. 
they're not in rainbow order the hearts are not perfect but by creating smaller ones larger ones and filling in the spaces and just keep going don't get to this point and get discouraged okay because this is something that a lot of you guys have said to me I can't do that yes you can believe in yourself trust the process you can do this there there was nothing difficult about this it was just watercolors and this particular color I had to make myself because I don't have it in the palette but that's okay if you know a little bit of color theory you can do that as well and I love the fact that I can create more of an ivory more of an indigo these colors all come together on in this palette you can totally make these up it, I love it now don't get discouraged yes it's still looking very preschooler right my watch is telling me to stand up I can see that now and I choose to ignore it and keep going and <laughs> I never realized at the time that you can actually see my watch when I'm my daughter gave me this watch when I started working she Taylor wanted to buy a new one so she bought a new one and gave me her old Apple watch I have never wanted an Apple watch before because I never really figured that I needed it but now I've got it I don't know how I've lived without it it is so good now can you see I've skipped forward a little bit I cut some of the process out because I'm painting hearts um, see how I'm adding lots and lots of tiny ones in the center it's pulling it together so this is what I say just keep going take two more steps two more steps and it will go from uh to wow that looks really cool and you'll be and it'll be something that you'll be happy with I'm not happy that I did that particular heart on the wrong angle I don't know what I was thinking but that's okay so I just go around and I'm using a smaller brush oh, excuse me geez yawning I'm halfway through my day so I'm actually I'm in between two clients at the moment and because these clients are in kabulcha for me I don't actually have to run around I mean the day I'm doing this voiceover I'm doing this voiceover like weeks in advance okay now I find because I've got that gap there I'm allowed to duck home for lunch or whatever and I thought I'd do a voiceover for you guys because I miss you all I miss seeing you and seeing all your comments and having that in my day which is you know I love it I absolutely love doing that so now I'm peeling off the washi tape which was a little bit preemptive but how cool does that look see what I mean it looks really cool now it was at this point that I second guessed myself and this is where I'm coming in with charcoal it's not black it's more like a charcoal so you can see the black on the palette on the other palette before I moved it so this is a gray and it's more like a charcoal gray because I didn't really want I thought I always use black so what I'm doing is just going through and sprinkling through some black hearts just just the small ones just to break up the rainbow a little bit and I think the more hearts you put on here the better it starts to look don't mind the big hole that's where my photo is going now don't worry you're well over halfway of this video now so I am I told you I was having a yeah so I told you I was going to have a giveaway so what I'm going to do with the giveaway is I will set all the dates and whatnot I'll set them all down this weekend and lock it all down and what I'm going to give away etc and then I will have all the T's and C's over on the Facebook group if you it's easier to do it through the Facebook group for the giveaway so I'll do it all on YouTube I'm going to do it like I did last time I really had fun with everyone collecting the words along the way and 
I'll do it how I did last time and I'll pop the word up on the during the video at some point during the video and when you get all your words so the day before or the day of um, post your words over in the Facebook group on the post that I create and I will draw a winner from there so if you've got all your words and they're all correct I put it into a it's a it's a special it's a it's an app that you can get and you put in everybody's name that you want to be in the draw and you spin it and it just spits out a name so then I will be in contact with the people to let them know that they have won the prize so there you go I am really excited about that actually because I love doing that sort of thing so I will go through and do that now this okay back to the back to what I'm doing I'm finally past the hearts now I am going through and I'm putting some one eighth double one eighth of an inch double sided tape on both sides of that where the washi tape was you'll see it once I start putting the foil on it now I'm using the foil the go press foil heat activated foil guess what spoiler alert you don't need to heat activate it you can use it on double sided tape so this one is the did I write it down um, 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 um why do I think I didn't write it down I didn't hold the bat phone what is going on here we go I got it stop panicking okay so it is spellbinders spellbinders paper arts glimmer hot foil system glimmer foil and this one is called speckled aura that's the one that I used on this layout and when I have leftovers you can see there I didn't just cut a fresh piece I used it from the scraps that are from a previous foiling thing that I'd done and it still works perfectly not a problem at all so here I am going around creating another one I love the foil I love the shimmer and the shine I love glitter I actually really want to do a a really big we're back in gymnastics season guys just to let you know if you're new to my channel one of my children is a competitive gymnast and I gotta tell you I get a lot a lot of gymnastics photos so I scrap them and I love them hence I love foil and shimmer and glitz and glam I have just put do you want to laugh I have literally just put blue stuff all over my hand and I've got to go to another job yet whoops my bad I'll turn up and they'll think I'm an alien. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm over my COVID, by the way. By the time you see this, I'm well over it. Oh, thank goodness it came off. It doesn't normally come off. It's on one of my stencils for... It'll actually be on my next video after this. And it's... I'm sitting here cleaning as I'm talking to you guys. How cool does that foil look? Let's just take a minute to enjoy the foil. It's so pretty. Now, these are the this and that. These are the Thickers brand this and that stickers. I love them, but they are very... They're very patterned. They're very... I love them, but I just... I'm not a pick and stick sort of scrapbooker so I struggle to use them just a little bit so it's alright I'm cleaning a stencil while I'm talking to you guys and I've got to tell you yeah she's a bit messy oh my goodness I found out the other day that darkroom door I've got an email from them they're closing down he's I know his, I know his beautiful wife passed away but <laughs> they're so there's such a wonderful quality design I had the money I'd just buy it 
but oh well onwards and upwards I guess that's what we say right now I am I've punched out some hearts I've got a twin heart punch here I'm trying to print well initially I was just going to do the big ones but then I decided to do the small ones now I foiled it before I did this because I do have some of these hearts already punched out but can you imagine putting foil on those teeny tiny hearts it just wouldn't happen not gonna it's not gonna work mate so I decided I would just do it like that and put the foil onto the paper I don't know how to get this stuff off my stencil okay help right let me know have you ever used metallic rub on like it's a metallic rub wax stuff it's not is it wax I think it's wax and it's an old one and I used it through a stencil and it's my good stencil that I love and for some reason it just seems to keep coming off and it's not actually fully coming off ah not happy Jan won't do that again um I'll soak it with some hot soapy water that might work now I'm just adding some of these gold stars to this layout and then it's done like how cool does this layout look and there's no expensive anything used anyone can create this layout I put the gold shimmery hearts in there because I needed some sparkle there was needed a bit more sparkle so by putting the hearts in there with the gold on them that adds that means my gold's on there three times in three separate places so you know makes me makes me happy let me know what you think down below also don't forget i'll have everything listed below in the description that i've used links to what i can link for you check out that shimmer and i will have the by now I will have the competition up and going over there my giveaway and yeah I will keep you informed so thanks so much for watching guys I will be back with you real soon bye for now bye